Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about Azure DevOps work items. Here I've got a demo Azure DevOps project open and I can expand this board section on the left menu here. Underneath there you'll see a subsection called work items. And that'll list any work items that I've created so far. Now I haven't created any yet so the list is empty but I can create one now by clicking on this new work item button at the top and here it gives me the type of work items that I can create. So I'll just create a task right here. I have to give it a title that's required. Do something. Probably should be more descriptive than that. Blah 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 etc and so on. And there are other questions here. Some of these questions will depend upon the type of work item you selected. If it's a bug or a feature or an epic or a task, these will be the same. But over here we have things that are constant throughout all work items. For example, the priority. I can set whether it's a high priority or a low priority. These, are, these numbers don't really have any meaning themselves, but the relative number is really how they distinguish themselves estimated hours, how much is remaining, how much is completed, all sorts of things that you can add into here. If I want to save this, I click on Save right here. It is worth noting that there are different types of work items and these work items can be related to one another. So for example, if I wanted to create an epic an epic is sort of a, a grand uh, container for all a lots, bunch of other work items. So I'll have something like, um, oh, how about accounts receivable system. And I can put a more detailed description in here and um, click on save right here. And then maybe within that epic, I might have certain features. So if I go back to my work items, then I'll add a new work item a feature and a feature of that accounts receivable system might be the receive payments screen. Um, actually that should be in the title receive payment screen here and then I could have some details down here to make it easier for the next person to understand what that is. Click on save there and if I wanted this feature to be associated with the epic then down here under related work I can click add link to an existing item and that existing item would be say the epic is a parent of the feature so I'd specify that this epic is a parent of this feature and I could do that here and save that and similarly I may have a task one or more tasks that are associated with that feature so if I come in here and say new work item and add a task and say something like uh, create payments database tables and put some description down here lorem ipsum whatever is appropriate then I can add a link here to say existing item the parent of this task is that feature right here okay save and I have established a hierarchy between the epic and the feature and the single task and I start adding more features and more tasks and so on how you structure it is really up to you but the point is that you can create these relationships between them so these things could roll up into each other in this video I've shown you how to create work items in Azure DevOps and how to relate working items to one another this is David Thank you for watching.